But first, we're following a developing story out of Corinth. Alcorn County authorities say that a FedEx employee was attacked by a pit bull. WTVA's Rebecca Butcher spoke with the owner of the dog. She joins us now live. Yeah, Emily, I got a chance to speak with the sheriff here uh, in Alcorn County. He says that the victim, this FedEx employee, suffered wounds to the face and also the neck area. I did get a chance to speak with the owner of the pit bull. That pit bull is being uh, kept at an animal shelter for the time being. I also got a chance to speak with a neighbor who described the victim when he saw him. Part of his nose was tore out mm -hmm. and his head was cut. Neighbor Michael Worley described the scene to me when he found the FedEx worker. He says he then got bandages from his home to help. He tells me a nurse who lived on the same street also came to assist. He then called the dog's owner who rushed home from work. Oh, I, I thought I walked into a nightmare. I was about ready to cry. Um, all I could think about was how bad I felt for the person that was injured. David Dishman tells me his 10 year old dog Charlie is fine around his baby Raylan. The family's had the dog since he was just four weeks old. Dishman says Charlie got into a fight with other dogs the same day he was let out by a woman from Oxford Healthcare who was taking care of his daughter. I just don't know what could have happened to make him uh, want to bite somebody. He was severely hurt by these dogs across the street. Right now, the family has a GoFundMe page set up for Charlie for legal expenses if needed. And if they're not, he says they want to give those funds to the victim. He would lick you to death, you know, and never had he done nothing like this. But we're heartbroken. We're heartbroken for him, and we're heartbroken. We're just worrying ourselves to death, to be honest, and praying God gets us through it. And Sheriff ben, Will, ben Caldwell also tells us that right now the victim was sent to North Mississippi Medical Center in Tupelo. The Dishman family uh, that owns the pit bull, they say they're trying to send the victim flowers. Of course, stay with us as we continue to learn more. But for now, reporting live in Alcorn County, I'm Rebecca Butcher, WTVA 9 News.